What's up everybody, welcome to the third world dream, I'm your host G, and in this video I will show you what we know so far about the task board and what you can do to optimize your daily tasks. Ever since the recent update, the gameplay and earning mechanics of the game has changed. We are now introduced with a task board and here's what we currently know about it. The task board offers 9 tasks at a time, each rewarding either coins or pixels. Tasks that reward coins often are easier to complete and once you've completed them will reset in about 1 minute. Coins rewarding you with pixels are often harder to complete and will reset every 24 hours. This could still change in future updates so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates on that. Difficulty of tasks also depend on the type of player you are. It differs from free-to-play players, VIP players, and landowners. Tasks given to free-to-play players are often easier, but reward you with less coins. For VIP players, on a recent tweet by Luke, he mentioned that VIP players will get more coins upon completing their tasks. Be sure to follow him and the official Pixel's Twitter so that you don't miss out whenever they announce updates such as this. It's also important to mention that there are just some tasks that are not worth doing. When you do encounter impossible tasks such as these, it's best to ignore it and just focus on tasks that you can specifically do, especially those rewarding coins. Impossible pixel rewarding tasks is a different case, which is something the devs should work on further, as pixel rewarding tasks require 24 hours before they reset. For us players, we should also understand that this is just a new system and is still filled with a lot of flaws. All we can do is wait until the game is properly balanced but here are still some tips that would help you optimize in completing your task board. Number 1. Farm various crops. Farming water mints is no longer viable and it's time to start diversifying the crops that you farm. If you have spare energy or coins, you should consider planting a variety of crops from pop berries to astro cactuses. I would recommend getting more pop berries because there are certain tasks that require you to use pop berries such as getting pop berry loaf and pop berry pie. I would also recommend getting lots of rainbows because a task board could sometimes ask you for rainbows. It could ask you for flour which require two rainbow to make each. And finally, it could require you to have something cooked which sometimes requires flour in the recipe. Tip number two is to plant cotton candy and orange grumpkins. This is probably the easiest and most cost-effective tip. Task boards now request for orange grumpkins and cotton candies. You can find these seeds in the carnival area. Uh, you can take it from these vending machines. It resets every 24 hours. And you get a random amount of 12 to 48 seeds each. You can plant it in the bottom right side of the carnival area. Take note that orange grumpkins, like normal grumpkins, require you to water them twice before they can be harvested. Final tip, farm in lands with different industries. The task board does not only ask for different types of crops, it also requires some raw materials and crafted materials like wax, slime, eggs, and other materials. Make sure that you are farming in a land equipped with an industry so that whenever you go to plant or harvest a crop there, you could also collect your crafting materials. It's like hitting two birds with one stone, simply by correctly selecting certain lands. I hope this video was informative and it helped you a lot, so consider subscribing, leave a like if it did. Let's all succeed in chapter 2, and with that said, happy gaming everybody.